Welcome to iPhone Black and White Troubleshooting, where we figure out what's wrong with your device and get you fixed up as quickly as possible. This video is super short, and that's because this is actually an addendum to a previous video I had already put up about a disabled passcode. So, the whole purpose of this video, and I'm gonna call it this one part one and change the name of the other one to part two. Now, part two is going to be applicable to anybody out there that does need to use a computer to reset your passcode. But Apple has done an awesome thing, which is uh, for anyone who's running like the latest software, they are going to be able to actually not have to use a computer. So that is the point of this video. So this is why it is so short. So if you're somebody who has a disabled passcode, what you need to understand is that you are going to have to reset your phone and you can still restore from a backup and everything like that. It's no big deal. Um, but the benefit now is if you're running the latest software and we'll look at the software here in a second and what you need. Um, all you need to do is just follow the on-screen instructions from the phone and as long as you follow the instructions you're gonna be good to go so let's go ahead and take a look at the article so once we're on this article we're just gonna go through these steps and the steps are gonna be really really simple now there's a couple catches here and we'll cover this here really quick so like it's saying before you reset your device First of all, you need to have a device that's using 15.2 or later. So most people right now, that would they would be doing that. Uh, your device needs to be connected to a cellular or Wi-Fi network. Now, most people who are in the situation actually already you know have their device. They just forgot their passcode or the device got locked. So it's already connected to Wi-Fi. It's already connected to a cellular connection. So most of you are going to be fine. But if you're somebody who basically is, you know, pulling their phone out of the cabinet that you forgot that was in there for a while, odds are you're not even going to be on the latest software, but, um, which is 15.2 or later. But, um, even if you are somebody who has a device that is not connected to either of those things, it's no big deal. You're just going to have to follow the other video that I've got up. So part two, which is going to be connecting it through the computer. You're gonna get the same result. It's gonna be fine. Um, you just can't do it sort of the easy way, uh, which is what this article is talking about. So like it's saying here, how to reset your device. So if you're using an eSIM, contact your carrier before trying these steps and ask for a QR code to set up your eSIM again. Now this is actually kind of important because brand new iPhones that are coming out, the US is finally switching over to eSIMs. And so they're trying to give you a warning from the beginning, like, hey, if you're going to do this to reset your device and you're using an eSIM, then um, first of all, it has a link for you to click to be able to see like, okay, well, what do I need to do you know, to set up my eSIM, which is really simple. It's not that difficult, but you need to do that first just to make sure that you can get back into your device uh, with your cellular service, because obviously it's a phone. But like it's saying here, from your device's lock screen, try entering your passcode until the device unavailable screen appears. So what it's saying is, hey, if you don't get the option, as you're gonna see down here where it says erase the iPhone, if you don't see that option, it's no big deal. Just keep putting in your passcode, just keep doing it until this is going to show up. Um, when you're able to con uh, continue trying to enter your passcode until the security lockout screen appears and you get the erase option in the bottom corner. And that's what I just got done saying is just keep doing it until you actually get the security lockout and then the erase iPhone option. And then guys, look at these steps. It's really simple. All you're gonna do is tap erase, then tap erase device again to confirm it. Enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID on the device. 
tap erase to permanently delete all of your data and settings. Now don't panic. Okay, it doesn't mean that all of your information is completely gone. It's gonna be everything that is part of your um, iCloud backup, or if you were making a backup somewhere else, you're still gonna be able to restore from a backup. But in order to reset any kind of a passcode, um, even if you're hooking it up to the computer, you're still technically completely erasing your device and then setting it up again. You, you don't have a choice when you're in this situation, the device is going to be erased. So if you've got anything on your device that you have not saved yet, there's nothing you can do about it at this point. There's no options. You, you do not have a choice. You have to go ahead and do this. And if anything, that would kind of be an indicator to you that you need to make sure that you're making your backups more frequently or just turn on automatic backups and leave your phone plugged in overnight so that it is constantly backing up when you're not using it. Um, when your device restarts, follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device again, restore your data and settings from a backup, and just create a new passcode to get into it. So guys, this is incredibly simple, it's incredibly easy, and I'm so thankful that Apple actually put in this update because it makes it a lot simpler than having to mess and fool around with a computer now you don't need to so if you're somebody out there who's seeing this and you do not get the option at any point to erase your iPhone what this means is that you are running a much older version of software and you need to make sure that you update your phone as soon as possible but again don't panic if you can't do the steps in this video simply watch part two and part two is going to go step by step on hooking up a phone to a computer and following those steps to reset your passcode. Alrighty guys, this is a short and sweet one. If you found it helpful, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. Don't forget, send this video to your friends and family so I can turn them into experts as well. Alrighty guys, thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Ooh. Well, I'm an idiot. Survivor.